Now, if you love art, culture, and community, there's a place here in Flint that'll literally float your art arc. But don't worry, they don't have two of everything. This incredible gallery is home to the Mott Warsh Collection, a private gathering of fine art created by Africans who are far from their homeland. With a focus on art produced since 1940, this collection contains creations from more than 125 artists covering a range of media from drawing to painting, prints, photography, mixed media, and even sculpture. Now to help me truly appreciate these masters, I made some time to talk with museum curator, Stephanie James. So what's the one distinguishing characteristic that brings all this art together? It is a collection that focuses on artists of the African diaspora. Now explain what that is, the African diaspora. So the diaspora refers to Africans or, and or their descendants who have moved to other parts of the world as a result of forced or voluntary migration. The piece behind us with the little girl climbing the ladder, tell me yes. about that one, I love that piece. Yes, that's a great piece by the Nigerian-British artist Yinka Shonabare, and it's from his series of works that he's created called Magic Ladder Kids. And in this case, we commissioned it to include the names of several women with ties to the Flint area who are inspirational. And so in a sense, it's like the child is climbing on the shoulders of those individuals. And the large, it's a tapestry, I believe, that was hanging at the Flint Library. Tell me about that one. Yes. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's a wonderful piece by a Ghanaian artist by the name of El Anatsui. And it's a unique medium that he's explored for himself. He came across these piles and piles of bottle caps discarded from the nearby distillery near his, uh, on his way home to his studio. And as he began to manipulate them and play with them, he realized he could do some weaving with them and connects them into these elaborate large-scale metal tapestries that in their color and pattern resemble West African narrow strip cloth like kente cloth. Who makes this collection possible? This is all possible through Mary Ann Mott and her late husband, Herman Warsh. Well, thank goodness for people like the Motts and other phila ph 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 good deed doers. <clears throat> um, <laughs> because if it wasn't for people like that, I mean, they make this accessible to all of us. And again, I didn't know this was in Flint, and now that I do, I will be back. All right. Anytime. That's not a threat, it's a promise. <laughs> The art on display here will grab your mind, body, and soul, and hopefully inspire you to learn more about these gifted artists and their shared culture. Check out the Mott Warsh collection in Flint. You'll be a better person for it. And uh, I can use all the help I can get. <laughs>